Hello students, get a special and peace welcomes you and today we are going to discuss our next video concept through question and here like number of questions we are going to discuss in past minutes from design, drawing and importance of safety. So here past question, what do you mean by brainstorming? So brainstorming is nothing sir, for example sir, some problem is there and for that problem we need a proper solution and for that sir, we just hire like number of people, so our employees are there, we ask for like number of ideas for good solution and like for example sir, for one problem we got 100 number of ideas so then sir we will select best idea to solve that problem so this is just nothing sir basically brainstorming so a option a psychological disorder no sir a technique that of generating many ideas yes this option is going to be correct c sir a group of activity to define the problem so this is like a basic definition of problem sir brainstorming to like find out best solution for one problem and for that sir we just hire like different community or our uh, different like uh, our employees are there and for a, from like all community we ask best idea best idea best uh, proper solution for that problem and sir according to that we will just take like number of ideas there and we will select best idea our board of director our higher authorities will select best idea for that product so this term is nothing sir basically brainstorming so option b is going to be correct answer for this next question Consider the following statement about your Keno four level of customer requirement. Yesterday we have discussed about QFD. Last video, sir, our standards and quality practices in production. We have discussed, sir, whenever our VOC voice of customer we require like any product and sir, what expectations, what like our design requirement from our customer. According to that, sir, we will design our product. And this is just known as your QFD. Again, in the same manner, sir, our Keno is also given four level. Four, sir, customer requirement. What customer require from any any product for example sir one company is there and what customer expected from them sir basically keno given four level one is just known as your expectors means sir what expectations uh, like uh, from one product so first uh, level is just known as your expectors expectors are very common level means sir minimum basic features your product should have for example sir you are just buying one mobile so minimum feature should be like your calling purpose also sir we can able to surfing of net also sir we can create call or we can just like send message so this is like a basic features everyone just want from this product so this is just known as your basically uh, expector now sir second product or second level is just known as your spokens Spos spokens are nothing sir basically these are like a basic features that customer said sir in this product we want this product or we want like some extra features so these are like for example sir from mobile phone we need a camera this is also like expected product also sir we need like something just known as your basically 5g 4g so different types of quality like one customer want so these like level is just known as your spoken level third level is very important just known as your unspoken level unspoken level means sir some products are there or some like uh, parameters are there like customer will not like speak about that product so sir some features are there like uh, those features like unspokeable from our customer will not tell about that types of features or features at that time sir our company responsibility we need to design those features and we need to just like uh, recognize which is like a very important features we need to provide and finally just known as your exciter exciters are basically delighted features are there means some extra features we are providing for example sir your exciters exciters features are there some of the like exciter features for example sir we are buying one mobile phone and with that mobile phone you can able to like they provide some like heart rate measuring sensor behind your mobile also sir fingerprint sensor so these are like some extra features will delight Customer don't require these things, but sir, extra features we are providing to selling our product more and more. So this is like some exciter features and sir, these are like some one type of also like delighter features also there. So this is just known as your basically Kano model or Kano model. So whenever just we are talking about these types of features in this question, just tell me sir, first option, expectors are the features that customers say, customers say they want in product no sir acceptors means sir this is like a basic features and sir this say whenever just we are talking about want means sir this is just known as your spoken features means sir customer want these products or these features so sir first option is going to be wrong second option is spoken are the basic features that would we expect to see in the product 
no sir this is not your basic features are what acceptor so this is also wrong sir basic features whenever just we are talking about basic features uh, sir this is just only your expectors and whenever just we are talking about customer wants some features special features or spoken sir they want this is just only your spoken so spoken sir basically want features and expectors sir basically basic features so first is also wrong and second is also wrong so they given like interchange sir acceptor should be in second option and spoken should be in sec your first option so then it is going to be correct but sir they just like reverse it so first option is also going to be wrong second is also going to be wrong so both are going to be like none of the correct so d option is going to be correct for this question so basically similar manner sir qfd sir whatever like according to our survey we require something same sir according to like our keno model they given four levels of customer requirement basic features just known as your expectors and sir second is just known as spoken features means customer bond and speak about like these features we require unspoken feature means sir, some inherent features and like a company should understand these features are essential and we should provide uh, because of due to market condition some competition is there already some products are there they are providing these features so we need to just provide these features so these are these types of like features just known as unspoken feature and finally sir in designing these features are just known as your exciters or delighted features means that some extra feature or uh, uh, we are just providing in our product so they like a uh, features extra they provide some delighting to our customer so this is like a uh, basically four levels of keno model and so sir in this question answer for is uh, this question is going to be d now sir just see in next question the two recommended system of placing the dimensions are so whenever just we are talking about sir drawing sir we have dimensioning dimensioning are very important sir whenever just we are talking about dimensioning basically two types of methods of dimensioning and sir this is just like a first method is just on your unidirectional second method is just on your aligned system so unidirectional methods are very important and whenever just we are talking about sir this for example sir this is lining and sir for this like unidirectional for example 30 centimeter also sir here we are going to mean sir direction of this uh, letter is going to be universal or unit means sir we don't change our this drawing so this is just known as what your unidirectional method every time sir but sir sometimes what happen align method sir we need to write like this we need to write like this again sir here sir we need to write like this so this is just known as your according to alignment we will just write this like a dimensioning dimensioning of this product so this is just known as your align system and this is just known as your uni unidirectional system so both are like a option is going to be correct so these are like some two recommended system of placing this uh, dimensioning and generally in our system we just follow this uh, very important align system by in our drawings so this system is just we follow so these are like a very important question just see next question sir which one of the following statement is a correct about this like they given two statement and for this sir which statements are going to be correct so pass sir knowledge of the geometrical constructions is essential in designing and specific profiles of objects yes sir this is very important geometrical constructions are very essential for all our drawing so first option is going to be correct second option the internal angle of a pentagon is 120 degree first of all just tell me sir whenever just we are talking about our polygons and polygons are basically whenever just we are talking about our internal angles internal angles are nothing sir basically n minus 2 divided by n into 180 degree so this is like a basically our internal angle second sir external angles are basically what 360 divided by n and sir when is it we are talking about some of our internal angles n minus 2 into 180 degree and sir when is it we are talking about uh, some of exterior angles it is going to be 360 degree so these are like some important points from our polygon just already we have discussed so in this question sir pentagon pentagon means sir n value equal to 5 and sir they are asking about internal angle internal angle formula sir n minus 2 divided by n into 180 degree so 5 minus 2 divided by 5 into 100 so 3 by 5 into your 180 degree sorry not 100 180 degree okay so 3 by 5 into 180 degree and you will get nearly i think this is going to be 108 so 100 and so for this question sir the internal angle of pentagon is like 108 degree not 120 degree so second option is going to be wrong so only one option is going to be correct so a option is going to be correct answer for this question so any type of question related to polygon so these all formula just we have given sir internal angle this formula this is very very important formula guys you should remember many times in upsc they just start directly questions from this like a formula basis question 
जस्ट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द रेशियो ऑफ डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ऑन ए कॉनिक फ्रॉम द फोकस टू डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट फ्रॉम द डायरेक्ट इज जस्ट नॉन एज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी सर वेनी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस कार्व सो दिस इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर एक्सिस दिस इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर डायरेक्ट्रिक्स डायरेक्ट्रिक्स एंड सर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर वन कर्व इज देयर एंड दिस कर्व इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर कॉनिक ओके सो दिस कॉनिक इज देयर एंड दिस इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर फोकस पॉइंट एंड सर दिस पॉइंट और दिस कॉनिक कट दिस एक्सिस इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर वर्टेक्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एग्जाम एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे जस्ट आस्क योर बेसिक और फंडामेंटल्स ओके देन एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन जस्ट एबल टू सॉल्व सो दिस इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर वर्टेक्स सर दिस इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर कॉनिक दिस पॉइंट इज जस्ट नॉन एज योर फोकस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज जस्ट एक्सिस एंड दिस इज योर डाई इरेक्ट्रिक्स सो वेन यू जस्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट योर इसेंट्रिसिटी इसेंट्रिसिटी इज नथिंग सर बेसिकली डेफिनेशन ऑफ इसेंट्रिसिटी सर दिस इज लाइक अ बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ इसेंट्रिसिटी सर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस फोकस टू सर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर दिस इज लाइक वन पॉइंट सो डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम फोकस टू दिस पॉइंट एंड सर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू योर इसेंट्रिसिटी सो सर योर पी एफ एंड सर आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग दिस इज लाइक योर आर एनी पॉइंट यू कैन जस्ट टेक सो पी एफ डिवाइडेड बाई पी आर इज नथिंग सर वेट बेसिकली वॉट सर योर इसेंट्री सिटी सो सर दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सो इन दिस डेफिनेशन इज ऑल्सो इन क्वेश्चन जस्ट देर आस्किंग सर रेशियो ऑफ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम पॉइंट ऑन कॉनिक फ्रॉम द फोकस सर फ्रॉम द फोकस टू दिस लाइक दिस इज लाइक वन रेशियो एंड सर डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट फ्रॉम द डायरेक्ट्रिक्स सो दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द डायरेक्ट्रिक्स टू दिस पॉइंट सो पी आर डिवाइडेड और दिस पी एफ डिवाइडेड बाई पी आर इज जस्ट नॉन एज वॉट इसेंट्रिसिटी सो दिस डेफिनेशन इज फॉर वॉट इसेंट्रिसिटी एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू सर अवर इसेंट्रिसिटी वी कैन जस्ट डिफाइन अवर दिस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक वेन यूर दिस इलिप्स इज देयर सो सर फॉर दिस इलिप्स सर इसेंट्रिसिटी इज लेस देन वन सर वेन यूर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस पेरावोला फॉर पेराबोला सर इसेंट्रिसिटी इक्वल टू वन एंड सर फॉर हाइपरबोला इसेंट्रिसिटी इज गोइंग टू बी और ग्रेटर देन वन सो इन दिस मैनर वी कैन जस्ट डिफाइन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड ऑलरेडी इन अवर नॉट्स आई जस्ट गिवन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस इसेंट्रिसिटी ऑल थिंग्स इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर सो सर दे जस्ट आस्क द डेफिनेशन सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी डी सो नाउ सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेन एवर ए प्रिजम एंड पिरामिड इंटरसेक्ट द कर्व सीन एट देयर इंटरसेक्शन इज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी सर दिस प्रिजम एंड पिरामिड बोथ आर गोइंग टू बी योर फ्लैट सर्फेस इज सो दैट्स वाई वेन एवर वी इंटरसेक्ट बोथ ऑफ लाइक दिस कर्व और दिस स्ट्रक्चर एट दैट टाइम दिस सी ओ आई योर कर्व ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट योर बेसिकली सेगमेंटेड लाइन सेगमेंटेड लाइन very important b option is going to be correct and sir this is like a basic case first case whenever this surface is also both surfaces are going to be flat and sir second case whenever we will get one smooth curve sir when our any of like uh, for example sir one flat surface is there and another one curve is there so curve may be sir your what curve may be your cylinder curve may be your cone also sir your sphere so these may be cases like in second case sir for example i am just taking one prism plus your cylinder sir this is your flat surface and this is your what curve is there so for that sir we will get intersection coi so whenever just we are talking about your this uh, intersection plane sir we will get what curve surface A smooth curve we will get so we have two cases your flat surfaces then sir we will get uh, basically segmented line and whenever just any curve is there any curve surface is there any one curve surface is there and we put some intersection between two like uh, structure at that time sir we will get what A smooth curve so for this question sir both are flat so option b is going to be correct answer for example sir here i just put one cone cone and pyramid at that time sir answer is going to be a so these are like basic question any type of question they just ask basic idea fundamental sir this is going to be very important question for your exam now see next question consider the following statement hazard is a condition that has a potential to cause human injury or fatality damage to property damage of environment or some combination of these and sir second option is just known as a risk of a major of injury environmental so basically major of injury means sir in risk analysis what you will do in sir risk analysis very important we just ask or we just define sir probability of happening something or severity of this like hazard or accident is going to be this so this is like a basically known as your measurement so in first option sir hazard is a condition so sir hazard when we just be defining about hazard hazard is nothing sir any practice or behavior or condition means sir it may cause your injury or some illness to people or damage of a property that is known as your what 
his art so option one is also correct and second is also correct so second is nothing sir whenever one accident or hazard is there for that sir we need to just put some risk assessment means sir we need to just understand and calculate how severe this injury may be there sir what are the negative effect what are the positive effect for that hazard so everything we need to just calculate and for that sir we need to do for proper auditing and proper our safety managers also there so sir for this question answer is going to be both are going to be correct so which one of the following statements are correct sir both are going to be correct so c option is going to be correct now see next question safety audits are beneficial because of they are do not promote constant review of safety system so when you just were talking about sir audits like with a proper intervals we need to just do our safety audits for that sir we just hire our auditor or external auditor will come or internal company or they have some safety managers so they just put some audit related to our safety measures so why sir this safety measures are very important because of they promote constant review of our safety system but sir in question they just given do not promote so this is going to be wrong option they promote whenever just we are putting audit sir so definitely we are just watching or reviewing our policies second sir facilitate planned improvement to program policies and procedure so this is also correct option sir whenever just we are putting audit we are just improving our policies we need to just like for example sir some new policies related to our safety at that time sir with next audit we are going to like improve our programs and policies so second option is going to be correct and sir safety audits also help to identify weakness in human resources department yes sir this is also correct so when you just we are putting audit they will just understand sir what are like strong points what are like your weakness point at that time sir these weak points need to be stronger next time and we need to just put like a new policies also sir we need to just pay some money or uh, pay some cost for that our audits and our safety measurement so this is like a very important point so second and third option is going to be correct so your b option is going to be correct for this so if they just put like do promote not option is not there sir then sir all of above option is going to be correct but sir they just ask about sir not so first option is going to be your wrong option so second and third is going to be correct so b is going to be correct answer so this completes all questions from here now sir your next subject for ethics in next videos we are going to discuss number of questions from your ethics so this completes today's video next you will get tomorrow thank you guys for watching this video thank you